observations we're going to talk about today. Why has it become so cool to not come to work? Observation number 18. What's missing from today's workplace? Is it an easy find or are some of the good old days passe? Hey, my name is Arrow. I'm a daily writer, a silent wolf. That means I stand on the sidelines and do nothing but watch. I listen, I study, and then we get to activate. I call it the Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. Yes, it's my morning writing. As a receiver of thoughts and ideas, we as people tend to throw it to the side and we'll deal with it later. When a subject arrives inside of me, I know it's time to dig in. It's still keeping a journal, but by doing the research, the picture becomes clearer. This is the Daily Mess. Observation number 17. Very rarely do I trust a new employee that I've just met. Within my heart, I silently whisper, So, how long will you be sticking around? 30% of all new hires leave the job within 90 days of getting there. The study goes on to reveal that 47 million Americans left their jobs in 2021, calling it a perfectly normal part of the professional development process. What quitting employees fail to realize is how much their decision will cost a company. Retraining a new hire is expensive, and it's time that we're not getting back. You really honestly can't put a price tag on how it tears apart employee morale. No call, no show is something I hear nearly every single day. Something I never heard while chasing dreams inside the world of terrestrial radio. Now, I'm not saying that radio people don't quit their jobs. There's always change in everything entertainment. Giving that two-week notice is and was very common. Not so true at my present essential job. Most decision makers shrug their shoulders and say, Oh, well. Number one reason why so many new hires quit? They feel out of place. Rather than struggle with it or ask questions, their choice is to walk away. Hey, coming up next, what is missing from the business front? The truth itself is going to shock you. Hey, thanks for coming back to The Daily Mess. Observation number 18. What's missing from today's workplace? The truth is going to shock you. In an age of business cutthroat and what we assume is out-of-control drama... A large number of co-workers are hiding their true feelings. The experts say a company that has great programs is on the right track. Driving numbers is a noble ambition. But what happens if the employee isn't really in the game as much as the department head was led to believe? Which I'm very guilty of this. I'm guilty of such hidden tendencies playing out the role without loving my lines. The way businesses are trying to handle this is making an investment in their teams. Taking care of your players means your players will take care of you. Number one daily goal to be met is to mentally understand what your task or expectations are doing to the people who have been chosen to get your leader numbers up. If a leader's personal life is in chaos so will the work environment. So the question is, what's missing? The answer, healthy teamwork. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.